welcome back everyone to this new video first of all congratulations on your admit and uh, in next few months you would be here if you are coming in summer or if you are coming in fall one or two months more one big question which i have got recently is which forex card should i purchase or which forex card should i use and here is my small video and a small take on it please comment down below if you have other questions so let's get started first whichever forex card you take it is fine okay if you want a short and simple answer you can take any forex card there is no problem uh to go in a bit detail we have to understand when and why we will use a forex card first use is the day you will land and till the time you create a bank account and you start getting money from india or your on campus job you have to get some money from india that money you would either keep in the card or transfer it to your bank okay that is the time you will use forex card so in my basic understanding you will use forex card for the first few weeks slash at maximum 2 months okay second point when you are getting money in forex card if you do not want to transfer the fees the basic use is just to set up your initial household you get your furniture you get your bed table etc and you are done if you are transferring fees by getting money in the forex card that is secondary okay that time you have to bring a good amount of money uh so important things to understand about a forex card first is what is the conversion fees okay what at what rate are you getting the conversion done when you transfer the money or when you wrote the forex card second is is there any issuing fees uh transfer fees or exit load i personally am using book my forex and i also got something called as go neo okay i have never used this card but this oops but this card is something which i have used for the first 2 3 months very actively book my forex card has a uh, exit load where what is the meaning of exit load when you transfer money from your card to the bank that is you go to your bank you swipe the card in their bank machine it's like a normal atm machine and you transfer the money to a bank account that time you have to pay some charges to book my forex otherwise it is awesome it hardly has any issuing fees or the conversion rate is also great whereas if you take say hdfc or other banks the rates might differ so you have to do that calculation i again repeat take any bank forex card it is completely all right you also have to understand when we are paying fees to usc you cannot use a card right so if you are getting money in forex card you have to reload that into your bank and then pay the fees so assuming a scenario if you are using book my forex you get the fees in forex card from india you put that into bank that will occur your charge around 2% if i'm not wrong and that is a huge amount so in this situation i will not take book my forex i would go for say hdfc where my exit load is zero uh yeah and uh, what did i do if i had book my forex i did not transfer the money to my bank i only used it as a normal debit card and kept and kept swiping the card at your target or your trader joes it was perfectly all right so yes so you can use the forex card you can swipe it anywhere and each and every grocery store it is completely free of charge uh the next question is how much money should i carry it actually depends on your scenario if you have to come here and pay your security deposit your first month rent get your basic app appliances table monitor laptop so you do your math and uh, based on that i would say get some amount in cash and get rest in a forex card uh when you are buying forex make sure to have a proper bill uh, and the receipt with you uh, in case you land up in any trouble you will need that so that's it a uh, very small and quick video summary take any card no problem just look at the exit load and the conversion rate that they are giving that's it if you have any other questions drop in the comment and stay safe